new 2017 Kia Rio SUV Spide, could take on Stonic name. Kia's upcoming Nissan Juke rival should arrive later this year with Rio and Sportage styling influences. Kia is in the midst of preparing a new B-segment crossover to rival the Renault Capture and Nissan Juke, and we've received fresh and more revealing spy shots of the Rio-based SUV ahead of its anticipated reveal and market release later in 2017. According to trademark applications and reports around the web, the new model could be called the Stonic. The car in the pictures is still heavily masked, but it's possible to spot that the test mule rides on the same set of 17-inch alloy wheels available on the Rio hatchback. The shape of the car's windows known as the daylight opening is similar, especially the three-quarter windows. Under the masking it appears to sport a chunky C-pillar as well, another design trait lifted from the new hatchback. However, Auto Express understands Kia will also work individual design tweaks into the new model. Prices should start around £14,000 when it goes on sale. The Korean brand first showed its intentions to release a new small crossover when it displayed the Nero concept at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show although the name was subsequently used on the Korean company's new hybrid car. In 2016, John Kim, head of Kia's Western Europe team also told Auto Express, Kia is launching some new products next year 2017 such as a new Rio with an SUV as well. It won't be all Rio though. Last year, Michael Cole, chief operating officer of Kia Europe, told Auto Express, we are studying it and if there were to be a crossover it would not be a derivative of Rio. It would be its own product. I won't confirm what is likely to happen, but if we are to see one, it'll be its own crossover B-segment, super mini, vehicle. Cole explained that the brand has observed the influx of small crossovers to the market with interest. He continued, it is such an important segment. You look at what others are doing and how it can be a good brand builder car. Arguably the best brand building car we have had in the past five years is Sportage. So having a younger brother to that car in the B segment would be a really good fit for Kia given that we have a bit of heritage for SUV products. If we were to do it, we think it would be an important brand builder as well as offering a volume opportunity in a growing segment. And the Nero concept may provide some strong clues as to what a production crossover could look like. Kia Europe design boss Gregory Guillaume explained, We have had a BSUV as a show car and we did say we are serious about it. We mean it. We could do something like a VW Polo cross with plastic parts, or alternatively something unrecognizable as a Rio and not trying to build on the Rio family. I would go with something that stands out, that is not recognizable. Kia small SUV, spy shots. The spy shots we've seen of the disguised Rio SUV test car would appear to indicate that the Rio SUV will indeed have key differences to its new hatchback sibling. The raised ride height is evident from the spy shots, while a slightly roomier cabin and bigger boot will also feature. Despitzi the desire for the car to be different from the Rio Super Mini, design boss Peter Schreier is still expected to work within the brand's existing styling framework for the new model, injecting some bulk into the Super Mini's bumpers, boot, and sills. We have built up a design identity, he said. Future cars will follow on from that. Kikia styling cues such as the Tiger nose grille will feature, along with sporty design touches to help the car rival the funky Nissan Juke. The cabin, however, will be carried over largely unchanged from the new Super Mini. Unlike the established Sportage, the smaller SUV won't be offered with four-wheel drive. In addition to the familiar petrol and diesel engines available at launch, Kia is expected to offer plug-in hybrid power a little later in the product life cycle. It's highly likely engineers will attempt to mate existing hybrid tech from the Nero with a more efficient plug-in unit. Bosses have already outlined plans for 22 green models over the next five years. The new Nero and Optima Fev join the Soul Ev to make three, with 19 still to come.